No, this room is much colder. It is, right? It's freezing. It is. Andrew Miller. Um, what are you saying? Are you spoiling everything? No, 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 no. Okay, I get it. I know. Okay. I had to whisper in Julie's ear. The other one's like, "Are we mentioning the blah blah?" You can tell us everything. Not at all. How you doing? Good. Are you doing? I lost my voice. I know. We heard that at the Vampire Diaries panel. I was like, no. I shut up the whole time. <laughs> Which is good. But by the way, I'm glad because Ian and Paul were in rare form. They were hilarious. So oh my god. god. I, I, was like, I, I got enough for this. I was like, thank god. Because <laughs> they really were just, they were. Right. You can see that's the fun of Paul, is because he's that way all day. He's so funny. And now, as the Ripper, we can go there. We can, we can have him play some of that fun. Exactly. Looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see him. He's such a good actor. Yeah. And I feel like we've put him in a box, so, you know, as the hero. Now it's time to okay. rip it open a little bit. Exactly. For, for the new series, Kevin, uh, yeah. uh, you know, obviously it's a spinoff, but uh, in terms of how you conceptualized it... Uh, companion piece. Companion piece. In terms of the structure of the show, can you tell us what the big differences are going to be? Is it going to be the same sort of fast pace, lots well, of surprises? Well, if, if you go back to The Vampire Diaries, I don't know how fast-paced it was in the very beginning, so I hope it's not. I hope it's not compared to season three of Vampire Diaries, because that's up and running and that starts from the gate out, of, you know, in an explosive way. But the first season of uh, Vampire Diaries was very sort of rooted in character, rooted in the relationships, the emotion. We're trying to get the emotional stories, and so yes, we actually do spend some time slowing down. But hopefully it's compelling and, and, and getting to know everyone. There's six in this circle. They're their parents. We have their grandparents. We have a world. We have a lot to accomplish. And so we take some time to do it, but hopefully we also do it in a way in which sets everything. Yeah, I hope, yeah, it gets fast real quick. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, well, am I making this sound boring? And the reality is, no. It actually gets up and running real quick. I mean, we, as soon as we set the stage, the first episode's awesome because mm -hmm. Natasha Hinchfish is out of control. Right. I have a question, just real quick. Um, She's up to no good. It's fun. So, in the books, you know, Cassie's mom was a big supporting role in the books. And in the series, she's tragically killed, so... All right, all right I killed her, so I'll <laughs> yeah. just take credit for that. I did write that scene, but okay. I gotta be honest with you. Yeah. When I came onto the project, they brought me in at the very last minute last year right. when it had been developed with some other people, right. and it was like that. They, um, she got, I think she got on... Yeah, she was just burned, mm -hmm. like with a fire, and then right. I, of course, took it to the guy showed up and did all the yeah. matches. Yeah. And because um, I wanted to connect it. And exactly. But they had already decided to. Uh, that's an alloy question, the book company. They okay. decided to kill her. I don't know oh. why. Okay. Because I came in and just, you know. Right, right. We get that question a lot on our fans. I was like, uh, why is Cassie not there? And I was like, okay, I'll ask that question. I don't know. I think, the, I think Andrew Miller, because he was there from the beginning, Good I think the development process was why would she ever come back to this town with her daughter if she knew what she knew. Right. And why is the town called New Salem? It's about a bunch of witches that are trying to hide. <laughs> Thank you, L.J. Smith. <laughs> So we change all that. <laughs> Are you going to be handling the like, witch lore differently on this than on Vampire Diaries? Yes, you know, they're two separate worlds. And, you know, we've got the witch lore in Vampire Diaries, if you really think about what Elijah said in the second season, it all, vampires all date back to a witch. The witch is, you know, because they created a curse on the original family, which created everything. And that's that world. This world is witches. There's not, we don't have vampires and werewolves in this world. It's, there's other things, but there's not vampires and werewolves. There's witches. And they're good, they're bad, and some are just downright. What are some of the other things? <laughs> I am not giving that up. Is it other supernatural things? Or Maybe. Demons, perhaps? Possibly. That'd be a, that'd be a go to. <laughs> Can you talk about uh, how much you're. Well, we don't know when or where. We are, we're going to go into that demon whole land of the mythology of the underworld. Because I think all that stuff's in the book. Everybody's no surprise. All that stuff's in the book. We're probably going to delve into some of that as well. Can you talk about how you're. How much work you're going to be still doing on Vampire Diaries and how much on this? Yeah. You're, 
me and Julie. Julie and I are married at the hip in some sort of weird, twisted, pathetic, sad, wonderful way. And we were, um, we will be doing Vampire Diaries. We made an agreement to stick through for the whole thing. So, uh, some way or another, we will be involved together in Vampire Diaries. And, and um, I'm going to, the thing about this show is we've got Andrew Miller, who, who, I don't know if you guys have met him yet. He's so sweet. He's so nice. And I was so worried when I came into the project that, you know, he wouldn't be receptive of me. And then we ended up being, you know, BFFs like that. And so I feel like I've got a partner that can do all the work. <laughs> and then I can just sort of like hang back. and Like I wrote the first episode of Vampire Diaries and with Julie. And, and then I developed the whole six, six, three season. And it just works out. You know what? It's fun. As long as it's fun, it doesn't seem like a lot of work. That's all. So, but, so I don't have an answer to that question in terms of how, but I'd be lying if I didn't say Vampire Diaries came first. It was my first, my baby. Uh, well, True Blood uh, obviously brought witches into the season as well too. Uh, you know, we had sort of vampires and we had werewolves. Are witches the new thing? Like, uh... you no, know, I don't know. It's like it's so weird because this book is a series that was written a long time ago. And they've been trying to develop it at the CW for a long time. And Julie and I got approached about it at the very beginning. And we were like, no, this is, we're focused on vampires. Let's just leave that alone. We don't think it's time. Then Julie and I wanted to write another series. And we thought about it for five minutes and said, no, we're not ready. And so then we, then they, this came up and they asked me to step in and help. And then it turned out to be a lot of fun. And so that's what kept me around. Because I was, you know, I didn't know what to think of it. But I get to work with Brent if I wanted to. I'm dying to work with Brett, dying to work with Natasha Lynch. I loved her and Eli Stoller. I thought she was amazing. And so I'm thrilled. And Gail Harold from Queer who I've always had been a big fan of. And I've been wanting him to play this role. I, I you know, he's been playing a hero and stuff. I'm like, what? I want him to play the bad guy. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm down with this. Kevin, I'm gonna still your Why? Thank you very much.